Hey guys, we hadn't spoken in a while, and I thought it might be fun to share a video uh, rather than tormenting you with emails about uh, some of the things I've been working on lately that seem to be working pretty well. Uh, this is a 30-minute chart of the uh, yen, uh, the dollar yen, and uh, in this particular chart, I'd like to uh, share uh, a few of the indicators I've been using. Uh, first of all, building from the bottom, there's an MACD. Uh, stochastic, and uh, in addition to that, obviously price bars that are candles, and then a chandelier, a T3, and a new indicator called Trend Magic, which was included in one of my versions of MetaTrader. I'd be happy to share it with you if it isn't part of yours. Um, I wanted to say first that I have changed my settings on the T3 Tilson. I now use a 38 period. And then uh, where it says hot in the indicator settings, I use uh, a 0.618 as opposed to 0.7. And that yields this line. I've made it a white dotted line. And in fact, you can see that it pretty clearly uh, represents not only the chandelier, but if you're using any of the Japanese Ichimoku uh, type cloud stuff, that would also be reflective of this line. And so uh, it is the typical chandelier we've used for years, but it's a little more sensitive using trend magic for stops and so forth. And it's kind of like double insulated. So in any event, what happened on Monday was after the close and the downtrend last week, we had an uptick. And what happens is that the stochastic uh, changes to color white. And then, and you can see here, the trend magic changes from red to white. It's any color you want. I've tried to make it white and red just for clarity. But in any event, uh, as you see after uh, the switch of the chandelier, we had a bit of a pullback, uh, as normally happens. And then we had a quick move. And then pullback once again using the trend magic as, a, uh, as, a, as an area of uh, support. And you can see that you can uh, choose to take a trade in this area. Uh, the stop could be right here below Trend Magic. It could be the 38. Uh, it's a bit long uh, and far away to wait for the chandelier, but that isn't going to happen usually. And so we can see here on this particular move on a 30 minute chart that we had 23 pips, 24 pips up when our full contract is uh, $240. And then it continued on, and you could uh, either take yourself out in this area here, or you could wait till you'd actually had uh, some kind of a catastrophe up in this uh, area in the next day. Uh, typically, you might take yourself out at the close of business in the afternoon of that same day. In any event, uh, if we look over here, once again, we have the T3 using a 38 period and a 618 uh, hot factor. Uh, we have a switch in the chandelier as we cross over, and I've also found that the trend magic as it crosses the 38 is a pretty good indicator of the change in trend. We have our chandelier and our trend magic uh, aligned perfectly. We have a pullback here into this area, and you can see that uh, the risk reward is pretty good because we're here in this area, and we have only 10 pips back up even to the 38 uh, T3. So if we get stopped out, it's 10 pips, and this change on the jobs report the other day was all the way down uh, to 97.27, and that's a $750 move. So that was a pretty good kind of thing. Notice that as we have this chop uh, through the rest of the week, because this was Monday back here, Tuesday jobs report, it was Wednesday that we had the big drop off the cliff. We've continued through this period here, and uh, we're, in a, we're in a chop zone. Uh, never is able to get above, really, through the week until this morning. And then finally, uh, we had a pretty significant, reasonably significant pull from the trend magic up here. And we had a 22 pip move, which is 200 bucks, which is not a bad deal. Uh, I would like to go back just one more time and say that I am using this for divergence. The stochastic here is obviously overbought, and we still have not gone positive in MACD. So we have a one consideration, and then the double insulation here, and the 38 beginning to roll over. So not a bad trade here. At least you know you're not going to be going wrong. 
So in any way, I thought I'd share that with you. I'd be happy to share information about settings should you wish. And uh, I hope all is well.